Hey ladies and gentlemen, Ashley here. I am so excited for this sweet as honey paper. It is simply adorable. I love the hexagons, the beads, and just that Sundance color with those blacks. It is just to die for. So this series of videos shows you all these different embossing techniques using distressed oxide, making cards and one two page layout. So there are six cards total. Make sure to like, subscribe, and craft on with me, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so today's card is a little bit fun because you can make this as a horizontal or a vertical card. Works great for both directions. So again, we are using that Sweet as Honey card making stamp and thin cut and some of those cork shapes and some embossing to make this fun little card. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to make this a horizontal card. So pay attention to how large your square is. Make sure it's going the correct direction for which way you wanna go. The stamp set will work well for both directions on this card. So to start off, I am going to use that spiced marmalade and I am on my all purpose mat. And that is nice um, because it has kind of, it's not sticky, but paper will not slide on it. So I'm starting by inking the edges. I wanted a real nice, hard to find edge. And then I'm coming in using circular motions to blend my ink. So again, working way in, adding ink when necessary. Now, if you press harder, you do tend to get, transfer more ink versus a lighter circle. So I'm working my way um, slowly coming around and around, blending what I have until I get that nice, softened kind of halo effect. So I'm double checking the direction I wanna stamp and then I'm gonna bust out my intense black ink, right? I'm gonna ink that up and I want to be about halfway on this piece of paper. I do have my Versa mat upside down underneath this, so my spongy side is there. So again, um, there is kind of a marigold in the middle of this, and so I want just that marigold to start to be showing um, for placement. So again, it's about halfway up. So next, I'm gonna use Intense Black, and I'm gonna stamp that cute little frame, and then I'm going to bring in <clears throat> my Sentiment in Spiced Marmalade. So again, that matching ink that I shaded in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some little bees. All right, so it's little bees, so I'm paying attention to the direction of the body, kind of clustering them around, and I'm gonna add some uh, cork shapes soon once I put everything together. But um, I placed my title down for stamping, um, but I didn't pop it up yet because I didn't want it to be in the way. So. Uh, now that I have all my placement, then I'm good to go ahead and put together the rest of my card. Um, just wanted to show you that sometimes you can use either side of your paper to get you a fun, different look. I really liked the look of the writing, so I kept this. And then I went ahead and inked the edges to kind of make it a nice, uniform, bring it in <clears throat> look. I'm going to pop up my title with some 3D foam tape. And then the last thing we're gonna do on this is adding those cute little cork hearts. So these are nice, super easy to work with. You just peel off the, the sticky backing and they glue down nicely. Um, I have noticed that uh, they do not come back up very easily. So they are stuck and they will stay down very well. So uh, let's adhere this to our card base and then we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed making this card with me. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow along for the rest of this series. Craft on.